so I did go to film school. But that being said, um, I will be the first person to tell anyone that film school is not necessary sure. for what we do. Um, you know, any information that you need is, uh, you know, online. And I, I, I've always disliked people who are like, oh, I went to film school. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know more than you. Because that's absolutely not true. And, yeah. and actually, I think uh, the benefit to where I did go to, to school was um, just that they enabled you and empowered you to go out and film things, which to me is the best way to learn. Yeah. School or no school, if you go out and create, you're going to learn how to, how to do this. But I will say, I'm very much like you in that I'm not really a movie buff. Uh, you know, I, I threw out Wes Anderson and stuff a lot. And, you know, part of that is because there was a big, like, social media trend last year. And part of that was Asteroid City, which was his new movie just came out, which I haven't seen. I never but, heard of but it. But I yeah. did. But I did, you know, I, I saw some screenshots and I was like, oh, that's a very interesting color palette. Yeah. I'll try and, you know, maybe yep. use that. But I haven't seen the movie. And I've always been the worst at, like... Yeah all of like the classic movies. It's I it either took me forever to see them or I just haven't seen them yet. I'm doing my best. What did I I just watched a you know, Boondock Saints the other time for the I first time. I haven't seen that. So <laughs> that's one. one yeah, for me. There we go. Uh, I just saw that. I just saw uh everything everywhere all at once. I have seen that. I just watched that for the what'd first you, time. What do you think of that? I'm too stupid for multiverses. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does get a little it gets weird and I feel like it's like that's kind of the point too. Like it, yeah. it wanted to get a little bit out yeah. there, which I think um, is is nice. But, but uh, yeah, your film background. So we do go to film school. Uh, I've heard uh, Zadak was on here. Zadak Brooks. No idea what episode number it was. Episode mm -hmm. somewhere between one and 54. <laughs> he was on <laughs> here. Uh, but he went to school, I think, for graphic design. It was some kind of art school. And I believe it was for design. Uh, and his big takeaway that always resonated with me is like he had a similar point to you of like really the, what I gained the most was from being at my computer and like just trying stuff, going out and making stuff. Um, but he talked about how like the process of taking feedback was something that school mm. breaks into you. Whereas for someone like me, it's like no one's ever really told me they don't like my art. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure those people exist. I'm not saying that my art is flawless, but just that, like when I'm working for a band, I send it to a band and most of the time they say, great. Yeah. And so the one time someone says, fuck no. It's like, whoa, what, <laughs> well, the, what the hell? That is a personal attack. Yeah. Whereas with Zadak, it's like, no, every week my teacher said fuck no to mm. me. So like it really gets you into that mode of like taking feedback and ingesting that there's so many diverse ways to do this. And like, yeah, not that that is mandatory to being a good artist, but like that's part of being a, a business. It's part of like, yeah. not that in painting the Mona Lisa, you need to be aware of that. But if you're going to try and paint the Mona Lisa every week and like, yeah, you got to be aware of other people's feedback and how you can ingest that and take it in honestly and not take it personally. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like maybe, or I'm, I guess I'm asking like, was film school a similar thing? Like you said that the, the big takeaway was going out and doing it, but I would assume that you come back to the classroom and your teacher is sometimes saying, great shot, Mark. And sometimes they're being like, why the fuck did you? <laughs> so, um, so that's interesting. And I think that's right. Um, but for me, I do think that, um, what I really liked and appreciated about film school. And for me, I think it is the, the strongest argument for going for anyone that is thinking, uh, in addition to the feedback, because I think that is a valid point, but I really liked the structure. Mm -hmm. So uh, there was one class that I took. It was called, I think it was just called like Lights, Camera, Action. And essentially it was like, it w I took it my first year, which was a sophomore because I didn't go in as a film major. Um, and it was like, hey, this is everything you need to know about production. And what I really liked about it is we would learn about some aspect of production, lighting, whatever. And then we would go out and we would have to film something that kind of demonstrate mm -hmm. demonstrated your understanding of that that idea. And so that structure where it's like, hey, you're you're going out every week and you're creating something. Yeah. And these some things are designed to be different. So you are having a lot of experience doing multiple different things. Yeah. That is is huge. You know, on top of that, I was very lucky to go to a film school. You know, you have a lot of these these high end film schools where I feel like for the first two years they teach theory and then maybe if you're a junior you get lucky and you start like getting to use equipment and go out and I make stuff. I took one film class and the f it was going to be a seminar every week and we were supposed to sit down and watch it was from like noon to six and we were going to sit down and watch a movie from noon to three pause another movie from three to six mm. and I sat down for ten minutes I was like fuck this like I'm literally <laughs> never going to do it like this is I'm not paying money to come sit and watch movies for two hours with like fuck this dude. Yeah. this is so fucking dumb mm -hmm. so yes I think if I had someone be like 
instead of watching movie for three hours, let's watch one scene from The Departed and then go try and emulate that thing. That would have been such a better learning tool than someone yeah. being like, watch two movies, stay awake, figure out how to yeah, stay awake yep. in this dark room. <laughs> Theory for me was always my least favorite part. Yeah. I loved the production side. Yeah. I still do. Uh, you know, it's why why I do it, why we do it. Um, but yeah, no, just the, the fact that you were able to go out and, and at where I was, freshman year or mm -hmm. I didn't start freshman year but yeah. right at the beginning of the program they're like yep here's a camera here's a Sony EX1 mm -hmm. just go out, make something you can rent this out whenever um yeah. you know we had cameras that went up to like red cameras I mean our best one was like red scarlet this was also like almost 10 years ago at this point so um so has the brand name on it, it yeah. exactly so like you know we got a chance to really get our hands on some really nice equipment and you had to go through a progression to get there but like just the fact that we had access yeah. to that kind of stuff, like that to me is why film school was nice. And obviously that's also not all film schools. But that being said, you know, filmmaking is not about the camera that you use. It's not about the lights you use. It's not about your equipment. It's yeah. about telling a story and, and yeah. how can you best communicate what you're trying to say. And you can do that with anything. You can do that with phones, you know, these days. Everyone yeah. says that. This is not a new, yeah. you know, revolutionary idea, but, um, so while I did go to, to film school, it's never really been like the, oh, if I didn't do that. Because I did have uh, like a love for filming before mm -hmm. school. 